Hey guys, lovers, and welcome back to another video. If you spent any amount of time on the internet, you've probably stumbled across goofy orange cats. The phenomenon deemed orange cat behavior has taken internet culture by storm, spawning tons of videos, pictures, and memes of orange cats doing funny things. But do orange cats really act differently than other cats? Is there even such a thing as orange cat behavior? That's what we're here to find out. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's explore the roots of the term and the science behind it to finally unveil the truth about our furry ginger friends. Understanding Orange Cat Behavior You've probably heard the term orange cat behavior floating around the internet or in general cat discourse, but what exactly does it mean? Orange cat behavior was coined in response to the widespread belief that orange cats act in a particular way or that they have specific traits that other cats do not. In general, traits attributed to orange cats are goofy, silly, accident-prone, friendly, and affectionate. They are often featured in silly cat videos and memes, and you're sure to find comments like, typical orange cat, or, of course, it's an orange cat. Orange cats have become synonymous with clumsy and funny behavior. Much of the evidence for orange cat behavior is purely anecdotal, and it has been an internet sensation. There have actually been studies dedicated to figuring out whether or not orange cat behavior is a real phenomenon or one that is simply popularized through confirmation bias. The stereotype was mostly popularized by the internet and meme culture, but it does have roots dating further back. Most depictions of orange cats in pop culture possess the traits that are now attributed to orange cat behavior. For example, Garfield, arguably the most famous orange cat, is known for his laziness, gluttony, and silly antics. So it is plausible that some people apply their expectations for orange cats in pop culture to orange cats in real life. Overall, orange cat behavior is a term popularized on the internet in response to videos, pictures, or memes of orange cats acting in entertaining or amusing ways. It is a fun, engaging trend, but it does bring up the question, does orange cat behavior really exist? To answer that question, let's first look at the genetics of orange cats to find out if there is any underlying scientific explanation. The Genetics of Orange Cats Some believers in orange cat behavior claim that orange cats are genetically different from other cats in a significant enough way that it influences their behavior. However, there is little evidence to suggest the genes that code for hair color have little overlap with the genes that code for personality and behavior. Cat genetics are quite complex, and scientists are still working to understand how their genes interact with one another to express certain traits. The appearance of the coat involves many different factors and many different genes to determine length, texture, pattern, and color. The basic terms that are important to understand are chromosomes and genes. Cats have 38 chromosomes, which contain the blueprints for the cat's genetics. Genes are sequences of DNA that code for different traits. Female cats have XX chromosomes, while male cats have XY chromosomes. The X chromosome contains the gene that determines fur color, meaning fur color is sex-linked, or dependent on sex. This becomes important because some traits, like calico or tortoiseshell, are almost exclusively presented in females. Other traits, like orange fur, are more commonly expressed in males. The orange gene, if expressed, tells the body to produce a pigment called pheomelanin. This pigment makes the fur orange. Since male cats only have one X chromosome, they will either be orange or non-orange. However, it gets more complicated when it comes to female cats. Female cats have two X chromosomes, so to be orange, both chromosomes need to express the orange gene. If only one does, you end up with calico or tortoiseshell coats. Because female cats need both X chromosomes to express an orange coat, whereas males only need one, there are more orange male cats than orange female cats. Some reports suggest that there is only one orange female cat to three orange male cats. This fact may partially explain orange cat behavior, and we'll go into why next. Does fur color affect personality? Even though there isn't a definitive link between fur color and personality, there is one between fur color and sex. This may correlate to how people perceive orange cats since most of them are male. Interestingly, there is a counterpart to orange cat behavior known as tortitude. This is the suggestion that tortoiseshell cats are standoffish or reserved. Considering that almost all tortoiseshell cats are female, there is perhaps an element of applying human gender roles and stereotypes to cats but science doesn't show that these stereotypes are true. There have been multiple studies aimed at uncovering the connection between fur color and personality, if there is any. One study by the University of California, Davis, found that humans often interpret cats' behaviors differently depending on the color of their coat. It evaluated four different personality factors, shyness, sociability, activity, and greed. The study compared the cat owner's subjective evaluations of their cats in these categories versus the cat's behaviors in standardized tests. It further grouped the cats by coat color to see if there were any shared personality traits or behavioral tendencies among them. 
The study ultimately found that there was no quantifiable difference in behavior between cats of different coat colors. In other words, orange cats do not behave differently than other cats because of their orangeness. But if fur color doesn't affect personality, what about breed? Does breed affect personality? It has been a long-standing belief that a cat's temperament is dependent on their breed. Anecdotally, different traits are attributed to different breeds by cat guardians and even cat associations. Some cats are described as being more intelligent than others, while others have calmer or warmer temperaments. To learn whether or not personality is inheritable, researchers conducted a study on 5,726 domestic cats of 40 breeds. The study published in 2019 in Scientific Reports found that cats of the same breeds tended to react similarly in social and non-social situations. Graphing out the reactions of cats of certain situations, the researchers found that some breeds, like the British Shorthair, had lower probabilities of aggression. Turkish Vans, by comparison, showed a higher probability of aggression. They also studied three personality components, aggression, extroversion, and shyness, across the cats and found that they did tend to group by breed. The study concluded that behavioral traits could be inherited at least to some extent. However, there is much unaccounted for, so the study may be considered reductive in failing to view the cats historically. As we know, there is much more that goes into behavior than just genetics. Environment, treatment, and experience are all important influences on personality. More research continues to be conducted to understand this distinction better. While there may be some link between personality and breed, no known link between coat color and personality exists. Nature versus Nurture while some aspects of behavior may be inheritable, it seems that a cat's experience in life are much more significant in shaping their personalities. Most researchers agree that nurture is far more influential than nature when determining how a cat reacts to certain situations. The most impactful factors seem to be socialization, particularly during the first two to seven weeks of life known as the sensitive socialization period. These crucial weeks teach a cat how to react to survive, whether that be through aggression or affection. It can also influence their introversion or extroversion and willingness to traverse unfamiliar situations. However, this isn't to say that a cat's personality is cemented by the time they are seven weeks old. Like humans, cats are capable of changing and adapting. A cat that was born into a hard life or neglected in kittenhood is not beyond help and should not be written off as a lost cause. All cats deserve love and care. It is widely accepted by researchers and cat specialists that both nature and nurture play a role in the development of a cat's personality. While there are some inheritable traits, experience and interaction play a huge role in how a cat perceives the world around them. It can be misleading to assign personality traits to cats depending on their coat color, thus stereotyping them and boxing them in their behavior. Instead, realize that cats are complex, adaptable animals just like us. Confirmation Bias A likely explanation for orange cat behavior is the phenomenon known as confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is when one processes and interprets information in line with their already existing beliefs. In the case of orange cat behavior, it is very possible that after being told that orange cats are silly, all subsequent videos of them being silly are used as evidence for the claim. Other videos of non-orange cats being equally as silly, however, are not used to discredit orange cat behaviors. In other words, orange cats exhibiting quote-unquote orange cat behavior are given a lot of weight, while videos that do not bolster their claim are not. Evidence of orange cat behavior is selectively chosen to reinforce the stereotype, ignoring others that do not. Many cat researchers and experts suggest that orange cat behavior is simply finding patterns where there are none, a phenomenon known as apophenia. A 2015 study found that people have preconceived notions about cats based on their color. White cats are seen as shy and calm, bicolored cats are friendly, and tricolored cats are intolerant and cold. Orange cats were rated as very high in terms of friendliness and very low in terms of aloofness fitting with the typical description of orange cat behavior. Of course, these assumptions have very little to do with the cats themselves other than their coat color. So it can be easy to see how human assumptions can interfere with how they perceive a cat's behavior and personality. It is entirely subjective assumptions and as such can lead to stereotyping and bias. It is clear that cats are perceived differently based on their coat colors, but there is no evidence to suggest that these differences actually exist. As such, it is most likely that orange cat behavior is entirely based on subjective assumptions rather than objective truths. Now that we've busted the myth, it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is May. Her guardian says, May is estimated to be an 8-10 to 10 year old calico rescue from Florida. May was found living on the streets near our apartment complex when our family stumbled upon her and her sweet demeanor. May followed us all the way home and she has since been adopted by our family. May used to be underweight and sleeping under cars. Now she eats all the plate that we give her and loves to be around her new family. She went from being homeless to being the spoiled queen of our home. Talk about rags to riches. Congratulations, May. Keep being possum. 
To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, whether or not your cat is orange, do they exhibit orange cat behavior? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.